Cubs. 14 points in the two games against the 67s in this series for that line. 36 points in eight games in the playoffs this season for that first line of the Oshawa Generals. Here's Kumpalainen. Got it to the line, but not out. Picked up by Roloffs. He dumps the puck into the Ottawa zone. Muse goes into the far corner. Lockhart on him. Kumpalainen tried to get it back to the point. And the Generals forced back on side. Good pace here to start this third game and we saw nice in the playoffs so far they really need a big win here tonight Benkowski off the face up puck comes to center Buckley pokes it in deep Maya first man there plays it off the end boards for Henry Muse Muse for Caden Kelly got it to neutral ice Graham plays that back D'Amato up the middle for DeLille he backhands the puck in there's a sharp angle shot from behind the net by Harrison Franson. And it went off the leg of Caden Kelly almost into the back of the net. And for sure, the 67s do not need any of those strange, strange bounces to go against them and into the net here tonight. Graham in the corner, off the end boards. D'Amato picks it up, waits behind the Ottawa goal, looks out in front, finds DeLille. His shot deflected a couple of times and finally gathered up by McKenzie and held for a No different here in the playoffs. They've killed off 28 of the 32 shorthanded chances they've given up. And that is good for third among the 16 teams. Luke Torrance and Rasmus Kumpalainen up front on this PK, Bedkowski and Danford. Back on defense as the 67s get control inside the general zone. Here's Millette along the wall. Back to the point for Muse. Across for Kressler. Kressler top of the circle down low. Pinelli fired that one wide looking for the far post. Millette back out into the middle. Here's Millette along the wall. Millette back to the point for Muse. Muse and Kressler change spots. Here's Kressler, top of the circle, had the shot, moves in, fired that one, looking stick side, and that turned away by Oster. Muse sends it in deep. Mallet back out for Pinelli, tried to go into the slot for Kressler, intercepted by Kumpalainen and sent the length of the ice. 67 is going to make changes here, get the second unit out on the ice and see if they can continue to have some presence in the offensive zone set up pretty well there for the first half broken stick on the ice Griffin loses it goes to the bench picks up another twig 67s in deep puck loose scooped up there by Robrick and sent down the ice to 67 to reach you go to a you go to a sporting event you always want to catch something catch a puck catch a fly ball whatever it is I had one right in my hands Lineman. <laughs> yeah, not at my size. <laughs> they dig away in the near corner. Puck comes loose. Sermon punches that one up for Millet, and he gets it to center, and a big hit as Punnett knocks your wad to the ice, and Punnett is going to go into the penalty box. Yeah, he's, uh, he's taken his share of punishment this season for sure. He's one tough customer, I tell you. Not too much is going to keep him down. Griffin can't catch up with that puck. Sermon gets there first. Lackadaisical pass out in front. Torrance sends it all the way back in deep. Griffin picks it up, and Buckley is going to go off. No. So it's Pinelli, Kressler, Millet up front with Muse and Maye on the points for the 67. Puck near point. Maye sends it across. Muse settles it down. A little saucer back for Maye. Keeps the play alive. Down along the wall for Kressler. Kressler tried to go back to the point. Gets it to Maye. He got across for Muse. Muse moves in. Fired down one. Oster kicked it out. But Kressler buries the rebound. 67s lead it one nothing on the power play. Well, just what the doctor ordered. Once again, second power play, and this time, like I said, you want to make them pay, and they certainly do. Some good puck movement. Just, about just 22 seconds into that power play in the 67s are one for two with the man advantage here in the first period of Game Three. Muse and Maya drawing assists on Kressler's fifth of the postseason. 
punt it. In behind the net. Held up by Horner. Danford plays it far side. Sharp angle shot. Kicked out by Oster. And the Generals clear the zone. Stonehouse sends it in. And icing called it. To manage the puck better. Play a little bit better in the defensive zone. And not give Oshawa those chances to score. And get this game tied. Puck back to the point. Played in deep by Bedkowski. Ends up on the stick of Luke Torrance. Back to the point. Buckley down low for Torrance. Ridden out of the play by Frankie Morelli. Puck goes far side. Caden Kelly off the end boards. Frankie Morelli and Torrance bump. Griffin in the corner. Held up by Barless. Barless knocks the puck loose. Finds Gardner. And Henry Muse flips it to center. And a hand pass called. And the goal is confirmed. We are tied at one. And the big line for the Generals getting involved once again. Robrex sixth of the postseason from Seneca and Luca Morelli at 15.25 of the opening period. Here's Henry Muse. Settles the puck down and starts out for the 67th. Muse plays that one off the leg of Horner. Goes into the corner. Bedkowski. Trying to move it up the left wing side. Plays it off the glass to center. Here's Horner back for Sermon. Horner playing defense. Only for a moment until Henry Muse got back into the play. That's his natural position, but he has been called upon to really exhibit his versatility, being able to play anywhere Dave Cameron wants him. Here's a centering pass into the skates of Giroir. Couldn't get the shot away. Pinelli sent it back to the point, goes between Mayich and Muse. Muse heads off for a change. Reach for it, and it's into the corner. Punt it, trying to tie it up. Giroir emerges out of the corner, centering pass. Pinelli was tied up there by Ben Danford. Roloffs tips it to the Ottawa line. Maye plays that one. Back up ice, Roloffs for Danford. Danford tried to go up the middle for Roloffs. Bounces into the Ottawa zone. Kumpelina for Roloffs. There's a pass in front. And Lockhart had his stick lifted at the last second by Maye. Back the other way from the 67s. Hughes fires it right on. And Oster makes the save. And hangs. Wide open if he was able to get that one off a little quicker. 67s control off the face off inside the general zone stonehouse in the corner peels away from griffin moves it right back out in front the puck loose and sandu takes it away plays it back for bedkowski he tries to go up the boards rink wide buckley chops it into the ottawa zone there's maya maya can't clear buckley back out in front chance for torrance torrance Trying to play it up the wall. Jack Dever intervenes and gets the puck to Maye in the middle. Maye over the Oshawa line. Stonehouse plays it in deep. Pair of 19s battling in the corner. Luca Morelli and Sam Maye. D'Amato moves it up. Buckley into the middle for Torrance. DeLille out there with them. And offside at the Ottawa line. Down on the ice. Colin McKenzie makes a key stop. Not five minutes into the second period. Henry Muse for Maye up the left wing boards off the glass pass behind Pinelli and a puck sent into the Oshawa zone by Millet. Luca D'Amato down low for Luca Morelli. All the way around the boards. Pinelli got a piece of it. Maye fired it and kicked out by Oster. Now there's a race for it. Callum Ritchie first man there for the Generals. Ritchie Puts on the brakes. Muse on him. Richie trying to spin away from that check. Seneca in there to help out. Pick up the loose puck. Send it around the boards. Back to the point. Morelli shot. Blocked in front by Muse. And now here's Cherwaugh. Cherwaugh up the middle for Pinelli. Inside the zone. Pinelli gets a puck. Gets a stick on the...
there for Ottawa. Puts on the brakes, comes back to the, looks to the point for Maye, then goes across. Foster fired that one, and Oster slid across, made the stop. Back to the point, Kressler, the one-timer by Muse, misses right along the ice. Here's Foster again, throws that one toward the net. It's deflected into the corner. Muse picks it up once again, 67s with some pressure. Another shot right along the ice. Foster now picks it up, comes back to the point. Maye, Maye, his wrister tipped wide of the target. Muse in the corner, puts on the brakes, back out in front. Korbler shot stopped by Oster. Here's another chance. Foster fires it, ends up on the stick of Kressler. He comes back to the point. Maye couldn't keep it alive. Well, excellent pressure right there for the 67s, and that not only tires out the defensive team, but it puts some pressure on them to where they might take a penalty because they get so tired. Here's Giroir in deep, comes back to the line, or at least tries to get it back to the line. That broken up by Torrance. He is out there with Lockhart, but Cooper Foster carries the puck inside the Oshawa zone. Millette spins away from his check, has the puck knocked off his stick, and back come the Generals, Robrecht. Robrecht tried to get it up the pass behind Kumpelainen, 67, start away. Here's Giroir. Giroir up the boards, punt it. Gets it to the Ottawa line. Lockhart upended, penalty coming to Maye. And the Generals will go. Here waved out of the circle. Farless moves in to take it against Tristan DeLille. Maye for Henry Mews. Up the right wing side, Caden Kelly plays that into the middle. Barless just unable to handle the pass. Dalil starts back the other way for Oshawa. Dalil fires that one, and a great club stop by. Face off to the left of McKenzie. Millette in the circle wins it against Dalil, but the Generals continue to press. Franson plays it far corner. Dalil in after it. Muse has it. Goes up the wall for Gerois. Giroir gets to center, plays it in, takes a funny hop, and Danford sends it near corner for Connor Punnett. Flips that one to center, hops over the stick of Graham, and now Pinelli. Got to the Oshawa line, intercepted by Maye. Here's Maye inside the zone, puts on the brake, spins back. Maye spins, fires, gets the tip in front by Giroir, and it goes just wide. Good job there by Will Giroir. Spinning around his defender, opening up. Bouncing puck out in front. Millet gets a shot on goal. Oster turns it aside. Here's Millet once again. Comes off the wall, back to the point for Maye. Maye goes rink wide. Here's Muse. Spots, fakes, shoots, scores! Henry Muse! And the 67s lead it 2 1. Well, if this is where his offensive side comes into play, gets the puck at the point, makes an unbelievable move. Reach. Danford up the boards. Nice play by Kressler to break up that pass. Danford gets it back. Can't get it past Kressler. Griffin for Punnett to the Ottawa line. Maye there. Plays it up the left wing side. Kressler tying up Griffin. Puck dug loose by Buckley and then sent right back into the pile along the boards directly in front of the penalty box. Henry Muse reverses the flow back for Sam Maye. Maye does the same. Here comes Muse. Generals in the 1 2 2. Here's Muse across the Oshawa line, spinning away. Gets the backhand away. And a great left pad stopped by Oster. Off an equally fantastic rush by Henry Mew. The end glass. Generals pick it up once again. Punt it for Buckley. Tips it into the Ottawa zone. Mews tied up there by Torrance. DeLille in there trying to kick the puck loose. Generals looking to establish something with 15 seconds left in the period. Here's DeLille. Back out. Oh, what a stop by McKenzie. the Generals in this third period underway. Maye up the left wing boards for Foster. He's tied up there by Ben Danford. Bouncing puck at center. Korbler stops, picks up the puck and fires it right at Jacob Oster who leaves it for Connor Punnett. 
Punted up the middle. Kumpelainen couldn't make a play. Here's Kressler. There's a shot by Korbler. Kicked out by Oster. And the Generals try to get it to the line. Finally, Roloff's able to get it in front of the Oshawa bench. Now Henry Muse plays it back for Maye. He slips and falls. Loose puck comes to Robrek. Stopped by McKenzie. 67's dodging a big bullet as Sherwa brings it. Knocks it down, gets it to Kressler. Kressler, he's tripped up by Oster. Still manages to get back on his feet. S threw that one across for Muse and hopped over his stick. Here's Muse. Leaves it for Kressler. Behind the Oshawa goal. Kressler back to the line for Sermon. Sermon moving into the middle, looking for a shooting lane. That one tipped in front, just wide of the target. Gerwa. Gerwa back to the point here. Sermon again. He fired that one off the ankle of Tristan DeLille. Sermon once again. Tried to move it up. DeLille intercepts. Moves the puck to center ice. And Gerwa stops Griffin's progress. Henry Muse will skate it up. Muse, left wing side, Stonehouse feeds it in. Muse, first man there. Plays it along the wall. Goes back behind the Oshawa goal. D'Amato for Lockhart. Lockhart can't clear. Here's a steal by Dever. Post makes a nice right pad save. And what Cameron is arguing is that Oster tripped. Braden Kressler earlier on on his wraparound attempt. And Birchall is saying, no, to me, that is not a penalty. And he gets the ultimate call. Third period action of netminders in this hockey game. Yeah, very good play by both of these netminders. Certainly, both have been stars for their teams and have kept this game very close. Well, that spins, gets a shot on goal, steered into the far corner by Oster. Richie plays it up the boards. Roloffs unable to make a play. Puck hops over the stick of Pinelli right to Connor. Pun it. Pun it. Goes off the glass to center. Generals able to clear the zone. Here's Maye. Long pass. Ends up going right on goal. Oster leaves it there for Pun it. Pun it. Goes all the way around the glass onto the stick of Roloffs, forcing Lockhart to stop. Roloffs backhands the puck right into the Ottawa zone. McKenzie plays it around the net for Derek Smythe. He goes rink wide for Giroir. Giroir trying to get by two generals, Punnett and Lockhart, or make that Matthew Buckley as Tristan Galil tips the puck into the Ottawa zone. Muse taken out of the play by the other number 11. Buckley comes back to the line. D'Amato for Luca Morelli. Morelli couldn't find a shooting lane with Brady Stonehouse there. Got a shot on goal and a blocker stopped by McKenzie. Here's the Brad Horner. Horner feeds it into the corner. Stonehouse there, first icing called off. Gressler and Ritchie set to face off. Roll offs with the shot right off the draw, blocked in front. There's another opportunity. Loose puck out in front of the Ottawa net. Picked up by Foster. That pass intercepted by Roloffs. Lockhart shoots, and McKenzie has the end. Back to the point. Richie. Richie has it in deep. Lockhart picks it up, comes back into the slot. Richie can't find a shooting lane. Bodies diving in front of pucks. That's playoff hockey, folks. Yeah, and that's a good block right there by Brady Stonehouse. Took that one off the inside of the left foot. Stung him for a bit. Those are the things you have to do. Stonehouse along the wall, trying to hold it up. Get a face off. Roll offs. Gets the puck out. Gets the shooting lane. Fired that one wide and right. Off the rebound. Connor put it. Offensive pressure. I wonder in my head, should the 67s call a timeout right here and try to calm things down? Kressler. Now, now they're trying to fight back and tie this game. Robrek up for Seneca. Kumpelainen couldn't make a play. Korbler tips it down into the Oshawa zone. Robrek. Robrek. Luca Morelli. Flips it down. Sam Maye scoops it up for the 67s. Maye up the left wing side for Pinelli off the Ottawa bench. Pinelli trying to move that one up the left wing side, and that was intercepted. 
Maia was breaking, but Pinelli unable to get him the pass. Puck tipped inside the Ottawa zone by Roloffs. Henry Muse gets there first, tries to push it up the boards. Roloff centering pass for Lockhart. Puck comes back to the point, and here's a break for the 67s. Millette has and many other key areas to bring you this OHL broadcast, as well as the ones we brought into your living rooms all season long. Thank you to each and every one of them. Maie plays that in deep, punt it. Sends it right back up the boards onto the stick of Beckett Seneca. Here's Pinelli picking up the loose bucket center, plays it back for Maye. Across for Henry Muse. Muse, rink wide pass. Pinelli tried to get that one across and into the Oshawa zone, but Connor punted there to break that up. Here's Kumpalainen. Tried to get it in deep. Onto the stick of Muse. Tried to get that one up. Robrek intercepted. Back to the line. Kept alive by Sandu. All the way around the boards near side. Luca Morelli shot. Wide of the target on the short side. 67s trying to get it out. Bouncing puck. Kept alive there by Torrance. Torrance flips that one in. Buckley after it. Muse has it for the 67s. Here's Henry Muse. Henry Muse skating it up. One on four. Trying to filter through the Oshawa defense and no penalty call here's a chance Korbler with the steal Korbler still with it spinning away from his checks goes back into the slot for Kressler couldn't kick it up to his stick to get the shot away Torrance goes back and flips it into the Ottawa zone the jump. 67's control off the draw here's Giroir inside the zone tied up by D'Amato Nice play by Muse to keep the puck alive at the line momentarily. Colin McKenzie on the Ottawa bench for the extra attacker, and it's Braden Kressler. There's the drop at the point. Millette shot right on. Oster did the smart thing. And Millette by it. Oshawa answering with Robrek. Here's Muse. His wrister right on the rebound. Brought it back in, and luckily for them, they touched it up. Off the draw. Puck goes off a few legs into the Ottawa zone. Punched up to the general's line. And then Robrecht takes it back into Ottawa territory. 67s get it to neutralize. Here's D'Amato. D'Amato plays it in. McKenzie couldn't make a stop on the play. Back to the point. There's a shot wide of the target by Luca Morelli. Robrek in the far corner. Being tied up. Puck comes loose. Kressler moves it up for Korbler. Korbler. Seneca all over him. 67s again. Having difficulty getting the puck outside their own zone. Good press by the Generals. D'Amato rink wide near side. Morelli tried to get that one in deep. Broken up by Henry Muse. He just flips the puck up with 38 seconds left to go.